Look at all these iguanas. We're having a field day. Ink. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Raj the Iguana Man here and we're back at you guys with another video. We're in lovely, beautiful South Florida and we just had a crazy rain come down the last couple weeks. We had about what, 20, 25 inches? 25 to 26 inches of rain. One day. Well guess what guys, that's over and the sun is back out and so are the iguanas. Woo. Linking up with the team, we got the Iguana Ninja. What it is, what it isn't. Manny. Guys, today, first day, since the storm is clear, right? What do you guys think is gonna happen today, man? Oh man, it's gonna be a voluptuous amount of iguanas out today because it's been pouring like it's no tomorrow. And the yeah. sun is out, no clouds, not a single bird apart here and there. But it's time to activate. Danny, it's been a while since you've been in the scenes today. How do you feel about coming out in the field? Excited, man. I'm ready to catch these livers. You know, maybe make. We want a quesadilla or something like that. Hey, okay, know. cool. Not only do we do the removal, but we also harvest them and we use them for a food source. As weird as it sounds, guys, it's becoming pretty popular here in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to see you guys at our jobs. We have thousands of tadpoles hatching right now. But you can literally see, guys. Literally see. Thousands upon thousands of tadpoles hatching. Look at this gravid one right here. Literally lights out, bullseye, right in the medulla. As Ninja would say, a mata combustion. But look, just take a look. Look at all those tadpoles, guys. Well, look at the other side. What do you see? More, ta more tadpoles over there. I wonder what kind of frogs can make these tadpoles. Are these native frogs or are these, what are those, what are those uh, toads that are toxic out here? Cane toads. The cane toads. Yep. That's probably what that is. Millions, look at that. It's invasive frogs laying eggs in the water. So it seems like the invasives have really taken over this spot. Oh yeah. So it's a good thing we're out here doing our patrol. This is going to be perfect. We're going to have an opportunity right here to take them. Alright, that was it. Alright, right, you've seen that right there. We bagged them. Now we got the team right now. They're going out to see if they can get that recovery. Because as you guys might have known and seen on uh, Google, you can actually get paid bounty for hunting iguanas. 
but it all depends on where you're doing it at and also what kind of contracts you have. So as you can see, Hooper right now, you can see, yep, right there. And look, there, look at, oh my gosh. Hold on, stand back, stand back, stand back, Hooper. Stand back. Oh, oh my gosh. Coming straight, to you. Coming straight for me? All right, let's see if we can surprise him if he comes. Rifle's on safety right now. We got that recovery. That little rascal, he's somewhere down here. We don't know where he's at. But boys, great job on the recovery. All right. We're just getting warmed up, guys. We're getting warmed up. Let's go, man. You guys see any more? Interesting, interesting. Now, if these are cane toad tadpoles, we don't know if they have toxins in them or not. We know the adults do. Drop a comment and let me know if cane pole tadpoles have toxin. If they do, this is gonna be really bad because none of the native or natural predators in here can eat them because they'd get poisoned. So check them out right there. They're like, they're in like some kind of, they're like a school or a pack, but they're, it's like they're in like a whirlpool right here. I don't know if they're feeding or what. All right, guys, so this is the one that swam across that Roger gave her a Mata combustion, and she's gravid, or she might just be bloated, which she does probably have like a little bit of legs, eggs left. She's definitely, an, you know, definitely a keeper, definitely an eater. This one's another one off the market. Ooh, wow. Yeah. This one's gravid too, guys. Look how small this one compared to, compared to this one. Ridiculous. Well, another two in the bag. Look, and there's still more coming. What? If I had a bucket, I'd have scooped them. I'd throw them out in the middle so we could have more big fish coming. Uh, I'm sorry, I, you cut out there for a second. What'd you say? Hey, Raj, you come get the big ass iguanas out the back side of the house, man. I thought they were going to leave once all the woods was taken out. They're still in there. They're in the pitch tent. They're watching the mango tree. Really? Not the mango. Yeah. They, 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 there's at least three, three or four king iguanas I saw this morning. So they are basically, they're basically, they're basically plotting to take back over, basically. Yeah, well, that's what it looks like. Absolutely. Yeah, because they're not the little one. Man, I'm talking about some monsters. So that's crazy because we took the habitat out, but what I guess one of the main reasons they love there is is that food source, that mango tree. Right, the mango tree, exactly. And it's, wow. And they're watching it. All right, we're coming. Watching the mango tree, they're watching it. All right, say less. We're coming right now. Okay, how many are coming through? Uh, like four of us. Me, me plus three. What, in about what five ten minutes or an hour? Uh, in about five ten minutes. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, bye. Right, bye. Hey, oh, we got another phone call. Whoa, hey, what's up, Chris? Yeah, I'm on the way up there. All right, how long till you're there? Day 25. All right, perfect. We're, send me the address. We're right next to uh, those areas, but we're at some of our customers' house. So send me your address. You know, we're going to see if we you can help. You, know, you, know, you don't know any good fields for the dog? To hunt? Yeah, like for, is it the rifle? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we could, fit, we could obviously find some places, you know. Does he go in the water or no? Yeah, no, no, fully in the water, but yeah. Okay. It's too heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. That's a big female right there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, you know, we'll just bring them with the hunt, and then we'll just, you know, what I'm saying, we'll go from there. You know. All right. All right. All right. So you, as you heard from the phone call, me and Ninja, we just pulled up to our next customer's house. Ninja, you heard the report. Gargantuous monsters roaming the plains of someone's backyard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are they after? Look right behind you. Look at this tree. Oh, mangoes. Yep. So there, apparently there's some big ones out there right now, either in the mango tree or around the surrounding area. Plot to eat those mangoes. We got these air rifles right here. Ninja, what you got? We got the only boss, the air boss himself. From, yep. Uh, Air gun one. You guys don't know now you know Pablo. 
you guys remember the last couple episodes we went to Pablo he hooked us up with this Air Boss from Curvin Arms 25 cal this thing is a tack driver's been taking them out and of course you guys already know I'm rocking with the FX Impact M3 Woo! have customers all the time contacting us wanting us to come out here and do eradication so Ninja with that being said you ready yeah. all right buddy let's get it bag and tech Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Still yeah. looking. Hey. What's Ninja. up? What's up? Yeah, Ninja. What's up, man? I see you. Okay. Man, I need, I need to come. My, you see these things? Look. Airball. When we ain't playing with them. Y'all need a boat. Y'all had a boat. We got one. Y'all, uh, man, y'all can go up and down this canal. We got a kayak. We got a canal. Really? Yeah. We'll hey, we'll, we'll definitely come back over our boat. <laughs> we have one. We just cruise this canal like some. No, we just about four or five minutes took off. They're crossing on the other side. <laughs> right between the fence. Oh, it just jumped in. Oh, okay. Yeah. You saw it, Nate? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja, we do got one across here. You want to take that one out with that air boss? Yeah. All right, man. I got your back up, buddy. my boat out here. I got a little, I got a little 12 foot John boat, a little aluminum boat. Oh, do you? Yeah. With a little motor on it. Yeah. You got a motor on it too? Yeah. Nice. Uh, We're gonna come out here. That's day. what those guys did when they cleaned up this whole area back over there. All the stuff, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It took them away. Check that out. Right there. Uh, wow. yeah, I see Quai Bruno doing his work. <laughs> he's doing his part, Aww. you know. Like he's he's just protecting his yard, so hey. he knows what yeah, to do. Yeah, right. And they try to bring it in the house. That one don't work. Okay, now that they cut all the trees away, so we you are out here with the iguana ninja. Yeah. And look at all these iguanas. They're having a field day. This is insane, ninja. I see something. Oh, can't hide. See that big one right there? It's a female. Got it. Look at all, look at that. Look, look at that. See that big one right there? It's a female. Got it. Look at all, look at that. Look, look, look at that. See that big one? Get that right above his head, Ninja. The king. I think this is the one of the only gravid ones that was in that bunch. And as you guys seen, they all scattered. But strategically, I figured if I was to get one of them right now, which one would it be? And it had to have been this one right here. Massive female goanna right here. In that, in that, still in that breeding color, the orange. You see, she blends in perfectly with the leaf litter. But I figured if that's the only, if there's only one I can get, it would be that one right there. Not only is it taking out one, we could harvest it, but also there's probably about 50 to 60 eggs in it right now that we just got. Excellent job, guys. Hey, let's look at this tree real quick. It's like one of those. Those guys were smart. Yo, literally some of them ran this way, some of them ran in the water. Yeah, it's, that, it's that thick tree. As soon as, they, as soon as they see somebody, they run straight back into that tree and disappear. 
Yeah, they're, they're disappeared. They're disappeared, they're disappeared. It's crazy. We'll come back out here and flash them out. Maybe we should throw some bait here, Ninja. Yeah. So, Enticing. yeah, if you guys want to see us come back here and throw some bait, and then maybe a whole horde of them come out here and they just start eating, and we can pick them off one by one, let us know, because that might be a good idea. But until then, though, shout out to the Hooper right here. Check that out right there. He just landed the big female goanna. That's a fat sheila. Massive the monstrosity of this thing. That's 100% guys. And she was just as big as any of the males out there. It's just that she was really fat around this midsection. So good job team. Good job, Hooper. Yeah.